Hello, it's Brian Lehman here, and this is Vita number six. And you've got one tired e hermit here. It's only 11 o'clock um, at night, and I'm tired, which is a wonderful thing. So hopefully, I will actually be able to capitalize on that and won't uh, find myself awake at 4 o'clock in the morning again. So today, I decided to actually go with the uh, topic of the day. Um, Vita is on. Uh, the seventh, but I'm still on Vita number six. But I'm going to do this topic for the seventh already because you know I happen to see it and so I already did the work for it. It's actually uh, finding out what your uh, personality rating is, and it's using the um, what well they call it a Meyer Briggs personality test, but uh, where the link actually takes you is to a young. J U N G. Let me paste it here. Paste and go. Yes, the Young Typology Test or Jung, but uh, the free test based on Carl Jung's and oh, Isabel Briggs Meyer. So it is. It is the Briggs Meyer test. In any case, um, I went and took it, and uh, you can take it too. I'll put a link right here for it, and uh, so you can find out what your personality is as well. It's got a bunch of uh, simple questions. Um, how do you feel better about this? Are you more likely to do this or that? It's pretty simple to go ahead and take. And uh, so I did that and it labeled me as a ENFP, which um, I can reveal here because I think it's pretty much spot on and anybody who knows me uh, probably has identified me as this in any case. So it marks me as Slightly, pr slight preference to extrovert over introvert, uh, intuition over sensing, feeling over thinking, and perceiving over judgment, which I didn't really think that was completely accurate, um, just looking at the descriptions, but can I help you, sir? Um, I'm going to have to start this all over again and rebroadcast, aren't I? No. No? What's up? Because I have actually something to do with this. Because my school actually made me take this test. Except I don't remember the scores. <laughs> okay. Well, just wanted to mention that. Okay. His school made him take the test. And look what it did to him. <laughs> <sighs> so that's what I have to look forward to mutating into that. It's horrible. <laughs> Boy, go to bed. Rotten orphan. All right, so um, yeah, so I'm an ENFP, and he probably is too. Um, let's see, I'm an extrovert, intuitive, feeling, perceiving, and um, let's see, ENFPs are both idea people and people people who see everything and e see everyone and everything as part of the cosmic whole. They want to both help and be liked and admired by other people, which I think is true of most people, on both an individual and humanitarian level. It's true. This rarely is a this is rarely a problem for ENFP as they are outgoing and warm and generally like genuinely like people. Some ENFPs have a great deal of zany charm, which can be Ingrati which can ingratiate them to more stodgy types in spite of their unconventionality. That's nice. That's a good thing. ENFPs have a strong, if sometimes surprising, values and viewpoints. They tend to use their social skills and contacts to persuade others gently, through, though enthusiastically, of the rightness of their views. This is this sometimes results in the ENFP neglecting their nearest and dearest while getting caught up in the efforts to change the world. That's probably uh, true as well. ENFPs can be the warmest, kindest, and most sympathetic of mates. I would hope that's true. Um, affectionate, demonstrative, and spontaneous. Uh -huh, don't you know? Many in relationships with an ENFP literally say, they light up my life. But there is usually a trade-off. 
the partner must be willing to deal with the practical and financial yeah, financial aspects of the relationship and the ENFP must be allowed the freedom to follow their latest path whatever it entails yeah this has been one of those days um, some ENFPs relationships can be seriously tested by their short attention span oh cool this window up to oh, um, uh, where was I oh they're easily intrigued and distracted by new friends and acquaintances uh, Debs and Errol yeah um, forgetting their old and familiar emotional ties for long stretches at a time oh that reminds me I need to call Eric Schof good guy um, seriously I do I was thinking about that actually I think about that I think about that um, quite often I have a list of people that I need to call I constantly every single day several times a day thinking I need to call my mother I need to call my mother and because uh, it's been ages since I talked to her and I really I have an awesome mother she's just been a um, good friend and everything um, I just wish she was uh, closer to me physically so that you know we I enjoy being with her I can honestly say that she is a good good friend one of my best friends and and so I miss her but um, yeah I don't I end up not calling her and checking in for a long long time and it's something that I don't like in it but the longer it is between check-ins the harder it is to check in so I just think about think about calling all the time and feel guilty so it's not really an ideal situation it's just what it is it's one of the cycles that I get into guilt ends up uh, burdening me an awful lot um, some yeah, I read that uh, and the less mature ENFP may need to feel they're the constant center of attention to confirm their image of themselves as a wonderful fascinating person I don't think I have that flaw um, I do not need to be the center of attention says the guy making the Vita blog entries but yeah it's not about being the center of attention that isn't necessary as far as I'm concerned anybody else can take that um, but I do like to help make situations better and will act if that's needed um, in the workplace ENFPs are pleasant and friendly and interact in a positive and creative manner what with both their co-workers and in the public ENFPs are major assets in brainstorming sessions I could hope that uh, following through on projects can be a problem that's probably true uh, however ENFPs do get distracted especially if another interesting issue comes along they also tend towards procrastination and dislike performing small uninteresting tasks ENFPs are most productive working in a group with a f with a few J's not sure what that is to handle details and deadlines but anyway um, all in all it's pretty much uh, nailed me that's uh, Marina Margaret Heiss's uh, take on the extroverted intuitive feeling and perceiving largely I don't think that these tests are very important at all because it doesn't it isn't something that I let affect what I do how I perceive myself or anything it's interesting um, being identified but if you're being honest in all your relationships this is something people can tell about you in any case I don't think anything in here is a surprise to anybody who really knows me um, and pretty much everything that's in that description describes me uh, pretty much spot on um, a few minor exceptions but uh, it's a five minute quiz so it's not going to tell everything about a personality alright so that's my Vita for the day um, if you want to go ahead and take the test for yourself I, like I said you can click right over here and uh, 
get in there. Let me know what you get as a response. I'd be I'd be curious to see what it is. All right. See you later. Oh, and I hope that this stuff uh, looks like it's not recording anymore, but at least video cameras on. Um, we have to do all this over again. All right. Hopefully not. Uh, if it's just like the last time and it's no longer recording the uh, camera, um, I apologize for the last few minutes of videoless vlog. And uh, hopefully it wasn't too long. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.